clock, Slobodan. Again, years we've been waiting to get yeah, Slobodan. Can here. I say this to the fans, Slobodan? This has been in the works wow. for how many years now, Greg? I got to be honest. Oof. I only know one year being alive where it wasn't in the works. Yeah. So we're so happy to have you. Thank you so much for being here. Ha praise. Ha <laughs> praise. Huge honor is mine. I am a huge fan. Oh. I love uh, this is what I love. I love. You kill me with kindness. I love Anthony's Corner. Oh. I love times when you do voices of other races. That's mm. two, I love that. I love. Mm. Uh, I was an early adopter of Jet Ski News. Oh, oh. big, big. Yes, yes. Slow down big. and the, allow us to return the favor. We're huge fans of your work, uh-huh. your political ideas, yes. the books you've written, uh-huh. the movies you've secretly made, mm. many, your, yes, many movies, your uh, elaborate. Uh, Aside, um, not quite Bitcoin, but it's your own coin kind of thing. I'm going to say this. We're big fans. I'm going to say this. I love you. So I know everything you've done. But in a nutshell, what are the things you've done? (laughs) Well, as many of you know, uh, I was uh, president of both Serbia and Yugoslavia. Mm. and uh, uh, In all dimensions or in the rad dude dimension? No, in uh, the world. In the world. Yes. Uh, mm. Now, what... So many uh, Americans would know who you are. Oh, yes. Many. Most okay. people would know. I am dead. <laughs> Setting you up. Yes. I am I am dead. <laughs> for now. our listeners. Mm-hmm. I am, You're dead. Uh, yes. Been dead for several years. Now... Yes. Happy to have you back. Thanks for making the journey. Yeah, man, well, man. thank you. Now, uh, unfortunately, mm-hmm. there has been a stain on my name. I am oh, boy. Mainly... It happens. Mainly known as a horrific war criminal. Sure. And I think that was... I owe you more for the secret <laughs> movies. Yes. We're but fans sure. of your indie flicks. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now, that is what... <laughs> see, that is why I came on. Uh-huh. Because I make a beautiful little rom-com set in Paris. Of course. Uh, Janelle and uh, uh, Pierre, uh-huh. are. Uh, uh, they both are wait- waiters at the same restaurant. Of course, you know, of course. They fall in love. <laughs> they fall in love. There's a problem, though. Janelle's dad, he does not like Pierre. I make this movie. Everyone says... Oh, send him to The Hague to be tried for war crime. Whoa. What about the movie? Send me to Cannes. Cannes. Send yeah. me to Cannes. Be tried right. for artistic yeah, to, stuff. To be tried for the Palme d'Or. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so what's going on with Janelle and Pierre right now? Is them, what's up with the movie? Well, What's up with that? Well, here's the problem <laughs> is that it is very hard. Now, this is what I say. Uh-huh. I, say them, I say, okay. Roman Polanski, okay, he has mm. sex with 13-year-old girl. Everyone still watches uh, his movies. Thank you, Everyone Becky. still watches Roman Polanski movies. Allegedly. But I am, Allegedly. I am, I am uh, accused, never convicted, because I died before yeah. they could. Yeah. Of, uh, a smart move on your part, man. Of, uh, yeah. of a uh, horrific genocide. <sighs> wow, I've never seen someone so blatantly <laughs> causing friction. On a table with coffee. Anthony, uh, uh, Anthony. It's not about me. It's about Slobodan. It is about Slobodan. Well, focus, Greg. But I would like to say, as Slobodan, and as a huge fan of the podcast, uh-huh. it did not surprise me to see Anthony had a uh, full f- cup of coffee, and his method for attempting to move the cup of coffee, which many people, yes. I like that he thinks outside of the box, Greg. Yes. Many people. Slobodan is, you know. The box is his brain. Many people. He thinks would, outside of his brain. Oh, you're a real, you're a real <laughs> shit show today, huh? Shut up. And kiss me. Uh, the, 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 this you. is the kind of uh, <laughs> lieutenants I would look to recruit when I was in government because uh-huh. many people would have thought, I'll pick up the coffee, then I'll move the no. co- rubber yes. coaster. <laughs> but Anthony, he thinks in a way, a different way, which uh-huh. I like, which is I'll drag the <laughs> sticky rubber coaster mm-hmm. with my entire coffee on it across the table, mm-hmm. spilling all of my coffee, and that's what I look for. That's how they invented the aeroplane. <laughs> yes. That's how that kind of thinking. Lebanon, <laughs> ah, you know, I, you know, uh, Greg, I mean, Greg was worried that this might happen when what? you came on, that he would turn into a cartoon dog. That's very possible. But yeah, I think we're in the presence of it. I'm sorry. Many it's times okay. this okay. does happen around me. And yeah. uh, are, you, are you Mr. Uh, uh, bark Bark? Or mm. which dog are you? Because this, I'm very used to this. I'm Gary. The dog. <laughs> I don't want to 
to uh, Gary to do my it. My mistake. Uh, <laughs> it's a disease that comes and goes. So It comes, it yeah. goes. I'm used to it. I want to say, is this my new comedy voice? It's just happening on this podcast. I'm, I go, what's everybody doing? I don't know where it came from. <laughs> I think it may have came from uh, part Slobodan Milosevic, mm. part dog. Part of dog. Part of dog. Anyway, yeah, Slobby, so you're yeah. here. To clear your name. Is that that's what this? Yeah, is well, I just want. It's films? not so much clear my name. Okay. Yeah, it, clear. focus on focus. the good stuff. You know, okay. yeah, things sure. happen. Sure. Things happen in yeah. life. Yeah, it's on to you. Do you? So people commit yeah. genocide, but uh-huh. that's not who they are. Look at Kobe's not game, not his cheating. Yes, that's what I'm saying. Mm. Uh, Pablo Picasso. <laughs> yeah, apparently not a nice guy, but they yeah. love his art. Sure. Nobody's taking him to the Hague in the Netherlands, no. saying we must. To kill him because he killed uh, 13 million Serbians. You know, yes. nobody's saying that. No about one ever him. talks about right. the little head that was part of Mr. Rogers' body that he had a little belial. Yes, no one talks about no, that. Well, I did not know about that. And oh, I yes. Thank you greatly for yes. letting me know. The movie Basket Case was based on Mr. Rogers. Very similar. So, Slobin, I understand you've written a book yes. uh, about the upside of Genesis. We're here to talk about. Yes, it. it's called Upside. It's called, yes, yes, it's Upside. called Upside. Yes, and it, now, can I, you tell us a little bit about what's inside there? Well, I collaborated with, uh, you know that movie where they adopt a football kid? Uh, the, the yes, the far side. side. The, 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 bl- the well, blind side. That's blind the side. thing. I collaborated. I said to myself, if I'm going to write a movie, mm-hmm. a book with side in the name, I've got to get everyone who knows about this on board. So I've got Gary Larson from mm. the Far Side. Of I've course, got of Fat course. Lip from the band Far Side. Of course. I've got the I've got the the, the whole the kid from the uh, the, the Blind Side. Uh-huh. I've got. Uh, I understand you got Paul Giamatti from Sideways. I got mm. Paul Giamatti from Sideways. Had to let him go. Oh why? He uh, took kind of a harsh stance against what uh, my p- p- political <laughs> reputation. <laughs> oh, yeah. Classic <laughs> libtard. Yeah. Uh-huh. So well, I got the other guy. He he didn't care. Who? I got Lowell from Wings. Of course. <laughs> he don't care. Yes, he did, did you get Martha Stewart? <laughs> what uh, from what side uh, is she involved? Is she, <laughs> she, <laughs> these are all, it's very side-based. Well, yeah, she wrote a book in prison about sewing called Suicide. She was thinking about blowing her brains out oh, and oh, making right. quilts. I have not got to her. I will reach out to her. That's very good. That's a great uh, She'd love to be a work. part of it. I get her involved. Now, the book is basically, what I do in the book is I, it's a lot of... Uh, uh, limericks. Mm. I saw the limerick. Now, oh, okay. for the layman, what's a limerick? <laughs> a limerick yeah, is, we knew, uh, obviously, uh, the ones, you know, you say like, uh, it's a form of a rhyme, you know, like, the, the once was a man from Cancun. He had a pet raccoon. Uh, the ra- raccoon yeah. escaped, he committed rape, and now <laughs> it, he's in jail. But oh. you got to rhyme that last part. But that was an example. Right, right, right. You right. got to rhyme the last one. Right. So I, my book is all. This was for you, right? Yes, thank you. <laughs> my book is all uh, limericks. It's uh, it's called the uh, as you know, uh, the the uh, uh, the upper side. Uh huh. The upper side. And what I think is going to happen is I'm going to become known as more of a limerick guy, and uh-huh. not so much as a genocide. war crime guy. War crimes, genocide, that sort of thing. I think that was blown out of proportion. Mm-hmm. But you get these light-hearted yes. limericks. Uh, the once was a man from Serbia. You know, he, <laughs> he uh, did not support the government. Uh-huh. We had to cut his legs off. <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah. So, you know? so these are pre-limericks. Yeah. Because these don't rhyme. No, I There th- once was a guy from Serbia. He said, hey, has anyone ever heard of you? He put a guy in jail for being a white male. We all cut his head off because he was Christian. <laughs> yes, that's another. Good I try. Okay, so yeah. that's 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 a limerick. Yeah. Is, so is that a limerick? Does a limerick need to rhyme or no? What does a limerick <laughs> need to rhyme? I don't know. I, I've had my editor keep saying to me, "These have got to rhyme," and okay. I say to him, "I what do I? I'm dead." Mm. You, I do, it, you're not happy enough with the first dead guy that ever wrote a book? <laughs> you're going to come at me with notes? This doesn't rhyme. Right. Fuck you. It rhymes. It, it, you don't know what language I originally wrote it in. Mm. Oh, good point. So yeah. now you have a collection of people. You got Lowell from Wings. You got... Uh, sure, he helped nothing, but he's a good guy to have around because he supports anything. You got Fat Lip. So now, yeah, exactly. Who's so, Fat Lip? From the far side. From the far side. 
Is, uh, oh, the rapper. Yes. Yeah. I was thinking so what, of the far side how, of the Can you walk us through maybe how you got these guys and then what they're bringing to the table? Where are they when you're writing these books? Are they consulted? Sure. What's the story? I call Lowell. I say, uh, are, uh, hey, Lowell. And he said, my name's n- not Law. I said, come on, Law. Come on. We all know wings. Mm. He said, I don't like to be called Law. I said, come on. <laughs> he said, who is this? I said, it's Slobodan Milosevic. He said, oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. You call me Law. Huge fan. Huge. It turns out he's a huge fan. I say, Law, I'm writing a book. The upside is all limericks. Okay. It's trying to clear my name, brighten up, brighten up days. I like to get, I like to, it's going to be come out in calendar form, you know, where you rip the day off mm. every day new oh, limerick yeah. yeah low comes on board low flies out you, you know we're over there in serbia uh and then uh we're drinking the grappa and all that we fucked you fucked <laughs> yeah we fucked <laughs> okay it's very good the romantic <laughs> okay yeah. so is that getting weird with writing the book that yes. you're in a romantic uh, relationship yes, very weird I, because one of the uh limericks and he read it Unfortunately, I didn't mean for him to see it. I, I once fucked a man named Lowell. I thought he would have a great big pole. He did not. He must be shot. Fuck wings. <laughs> and I wrote that, and I th- didn't think he was going to see it. He saw it, and he tried to run. We had to get him, take him down. Yeah, I had to take him down. He got to. Yeah, got to. Him. Oh, boy. Well, it's been good having me here. <laughs> yeah. I do appreciate it. I don't get uh, out much. Uh-huh. Uh, I'm dead. Do, yeah. Do you have any plugs aside from the I book? would like to plug. Uh, Before you plug, uh, I will say, do you want to plug? It's time for Anthony's Corner. I want to know maybe you want to stick around for Anthony's I'd Corner. I'd love to stick around his <laughs> corner. Maybe yeah, you stick as a, around. As a big fan. Yes, yeah. Huge fan. For Anthony's Corner. All right. Set the clock. We got a big Anthony's Corner coming oh, up. And the clock has begun. You have five minutes. Okay. Five minutes. Well, he does five minutes and you cut him no matter what. <laughs> Just got to make it to five. <laughs> this is wonderful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So uh, thank you. Yeah, plead and your case. I'm very excited that you're here. I don't often have celebrities on Anthony's Corner. Usually it's just uh, Greg and Brendan. <laughs> um, okay, this one's called my, my, my Money Moves. Nice. My, right. my, my, my so money these moves. Are, okay, these are my ideas to fix businesses. All right. And you guys tell me if these are sound ideas, how I can improve upon yes, them. Yes, Maybe yes. if you have your own, and bring them to the table. Okay. Okay. okay, this is for Netflix. Okay. Going out to you, Netflix. Not your new Netflix service for a dollar more. It gives you people to watch the movies with. Whoa, a dollar more. They send someone to your house. They send a dollar more. So Netflix and chill house. is now paid in for a dollar more. Exactly. Now. How are you going to do that? Paying people what? How much money? I mean, like this seems. Well, it's good for the economy too because now they work for Netflix. In you know what I mean? How is Netflix going to afford to have for a dollar a month? How much are you paying this guy? I look. That's something that Netflix is working out. Okay. Okay. This. Yeah. Slow it down. I may be able to help get some people. <laughs> okay. All right. I got the pretty good deal right, on some right. people. How much? I get you a people quarter an hour. You pocket that seventy five extra <laughs> cents an hour. That sounds good. Yeah. Pretty good. Okay. Now, am I allowed to sleep with these people? Yes. <laughs> oh, Slow down says yes. Slow down. Oh, well, you know, as, a, as he has taken over the reins uh-huh. as a uh, backer in this project, so I would defer to him on this. Uh-huh. Uh, I guess you can. You can. Yeah. Now, is the ruling uh, they have to watch a movie? Or, like, can I do other kind of like, hey, you got to clean my office? Ah, very. No. You no, no, I mean? no. This is not uh, sloping on, if I'm saying this correctly. Uh, this is not, you know, venturing into the world of uh, indentured servitude. This okay. This is just to watch the movie with. Do they and then, comment? Uh, that's some more money. More money. If you want them, director's commentator. If you want them to comment, you throw you, you pay per joke. I not wow. Okay, that's not bad. Yeah. Also saying that this is not a bad idea. Yeah. I pay premium per dollar. Mm-hmm. Maybe you get fucking James Gunn to watch Guardians of the Galaxy with me. You know. Yeah. Maybe I get a director of a movie. Sure. Now you're talking about Netflix Gold. Yeah. Which is my second idea, <laughs> where you All can watch the movie with the director. I now still I have a question about the. Go first. ahead. Everyone knows what I like. Can you cuddle? Uh, uh, yeah, as long as it doesn't, uh, the, the consent. You have consent to get consent king. from the person. Consent if is king. If you get consent from the person to cuddle, you can cuddle. Okay, because mm. I do like to watch a movie. I cuddle. You know, it's nice. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I like now, to sit gold. on opposite ends. Tell me about ends. the gold. Oh, go ahead. I like to sit on opposite ends of the couch because I get too hot sometimes. 
You know, <laughs> you go over there. You go over there. I'm gonna fine. be over here. That's that's totally. Fine. I just like to be in the presence of a human. Yes, exactly. You can kind of, you can place them wherever you want to place them, barring there's not extreme temperatures or it's in, in including bodily harm to them. And I hate to add on, sure. but I'll pay a little bit less. Maybe you send me just a dog. I'd love to have a dog watch a movie with me, you know, or a okay. gorilla, you know. I don't honest. care. I'll be honest. <laughs> gorilla's gonna be tough. Dog probably easier. <laughs> yes. Ah, here's the thing. Uh, if I'm if we're using my people, sure, the dogs are more expensive. That's uh, the pr- only problem. Is I got a, a whole lot of people. <laughs> dogs, I'm gonna charge the dollar twenty five. This is fucked up. Dogs on his are end, more than people because in his country, these dogs are just running around willy nilly. They've got a dog situation. They have there. a real rabid do. dog on the street, sitch. Yeah, but that's the problem. You can't. They're not going to watch a movie with you. Those I know those dogs. These dogs, with you, man. They've gone. Uh, yeah. Yeah. They've gone native. Okay. Yeah. These are. Uh, you try and watch a movie with this dog. You say, "Hey, sit, sit down. We're going to watch uh, the Blind Side." Mm. Well, you'll be blind because they eat your fucking eyes. Yeah, the dogs have human fights going. Yeah. That's anyway, right. yeah. next next business. Maybe. All right. So this next one. This is uh, this is for Uber. It's called. Uber Drive, uh, and you know you can take an Uber. Uber Drive. Uber X. <laughs> Uber Drive. Uber already is just a driving app. <laughs> well, well, hang on, Craig. Uber X. You know, a typical Uber X drive. Uh-huh. You gotta, let's say it's twenty five dollars, okay. right? You can take an Uber Pool. What's that? Fifteen. Uber Drive. Five dollars. You drive the car. First of all, <laughs> sold. Second of all, how do we get the car there? Does this, does this the the driver is? drives over. Uh-huh. Then he sits in the passenger seat. Oh, you drive the car. So you get to live the life of an Uber driver. Uh, 100%. For an hour it's or so. It's the cheapest rate of Ubers. Uh-huh. He takes a break. He takes a break. That's good. You do, it's good for him. He gets a little time off. <laughs> take a nap if you want. You drive over there. Pay him less. Who pays the tolls? Uh, the government. Fair. <laughs> that is a good deal. Great. That is a good deal. How far do I get to take the car? Uh, Where? uh, well, wherever your destination is. So I could go for five bucks. I could drive from New Jersey to Florida. Well, no, 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 you, no, that, no. Was that was an example. That was yeah, yeah. Thank, thank you, Sloan. I'm following this very well. <laughs> okay. Uh, so that was just an example uh-huh. of the way the money structure would okay. work. Okay. So whereas like it's a tiered system where Uber Uber Black is the most expensive and Uber Pool is the least expensive. Uh huh. Adding an Uber. Uber Drive, uh-huh. which is less than Uber Pool. Okay. Now, can I bring as many people as I want with me? Like, I get the driver, put him in the trunk. What's the situation there? <laughs> you cannot harm the driver. I don't want to harm he him. He needs to be safe. Okay. Fair uh, enough. Tier system, I would like to uh, uh, add a possible... Would like to add Uber Trunk? Well, no. No, that's a good idea. That yeah. is a good idea. Yeah. Uber Trunk is a great idea by Greg. Uh, but what about this? You've got Uber Drive. That's right. your base level. Right. What not go lower? Uber run over. You mm. hire an Uber, they come over, they just run over whoever you want. You this put you big. get them out into the street, you gotta lure them. Well, you gotta you get say, them out I'll, there. I'll add on to that. Okay. And we just call it Uber. Hey man, I'm going this way. Whatever's in my way is in my way. Yes, you know that's what, I what mean? should be called. That's what I said Eyes about closed. the genocide. That's yeah. what I said yeah, yeah, when they had me on trial. I said I was just do- I would. They happened to be there. Mm. I was doing. My guys were doing machine gun practice. Yeah, there just happened to be a you know, number of women and children lined up against that wall. Absolutely. <laughs> Chapter seven of now <laughs> Down's book. Uh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm gonna pause you here. Go ahead. I'm pausing after. Okay. Corner okay. We'll got a couple this. more. We'll get back to him. I'm pausing this real quick no because I want to throw in. I have a situation that we've discussed. Uh-huh. I hope I'm not stepping on your toes. I don't believe you watch us yet. Okay. It's called Uber Pumps. <laughs> this oh, yeah. is a real thing <laughs> that I kind of want to do. We'll take a break. This is Greg's Corner. Uber Pumps is Uber that brings ladies from Old Pump Strip Club to your house. And then you don't got to go to the strip club. The strip club comes to you. And then they do a little dancing. You do a little singing. You get a little lap dance. Everybody's fine. Everybody's safe. Everybody's practicing consent. You get a little extra money to get back in the car. They get out it's of like here. Uber Eats. Just like Uber Eats Pussy. It's Uber not, Eats Pussy. This is not the... Uh, where, 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 where do we stand on this? Well... <laughs> Where do I stand? I tell you, and I, you know, I'm a big Greg fan. Mm. This is a business that exists. Really? Yes, you can hire a stripper to come to your house. <laughs> <laughs> but You're through not, the Uber app? Through the Uber app. Through the Uber app. But That's what, what difference makes it easier. Is it, uh, the, oh, I'm saying, oh, you're saying it's in the app. It's yes. the exact same yes. thing as Grubhub, you know? Grubhub yeah. existed. You could always call right. to get your food. I sure. see. But with one app? 
pay. You don't get a deal. It's right, all right. it's all connected. It's going to be expensive. Now I would I would say <laughs> I'll pay anything. I would. Here's what I would say. <laughs> are these now? Are we talking s- s- stripper stripper or a little little something extra? Eyes closed. Okay, look, you're yes, going okay, there. You it. do your thing. Yeah, the be, the deal is on the side. Yes, the deal is uh, on the side. you guys got that's that's on you. What you guys are dealing? People yeah. deal their own things. You know what I'm saying? My fucking my my Uber my my Uber Eats guy. He brings me marijuana. Okay, he's supposed to be bringing me Bear Burger. Okay, but he brings me a little nose candy. Okay, mm. I shoot a little heroin. Okay, he's okay. All right, he's got pills. I don't know what they are. All I know is to make me fly. That's fine. <laughs> It's his deal. <laughs> but as far as Uber knows, he's bringing me a bear burger. Sure. Back to Anthony, Anthony's corner. Oh. Back to Anthony's like, corner. Can I say this about uh, putting this in Anthony's corner? I think Anthony's corner should, time out with Greg should be in, in Anthony's corner. That's, it's yeah. found itself. Okay, great. <laughs> Beautiful. Okay, Venmo Dark. <laughs> you, it's just like Venmo, but you can exchange money for people. What do you mean? It's uh, instead Venmo. Uh, I'm finding mm-hmm. my issue with Venmo is that you can only exchange goods. Venmo Dark allows you to exchange people. Are you talking about I pay for humans? Ah, uh, yes. Is this Uber pumps? I'm also not. <laughs> it's very. It's in the vein of Uber pumps, but worse. I <laughs> this is a slow down idea. I got to say, a, I think I'm, I'm slow down. I'm looking at you for this. One. Uh, I got to say, even as uh, the world, one of the world's worst war criminals of all time, mm-hmm. I'm a little uncomfortable uh, with it. Be calling uh, Venmo dark. Uh, I think maybe a name change might be in order, just to make it clear, all people are being traded, uh, regardless. <laughs> <laughs> you know, this is why you bring ideas to the boardroom. Yeah. Oh, you know, they yes. get better. Because yeah, yeah. that would have caught us. <laughs> yeah. Sure. That would have yeah, caught yeah, us. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hearing that now, yes. it's uh, quite an issue. See, what I thought Venmo Dark was was dealing some kind of money in the dark web, some kind of Bitcoin money for, you know, you know, money that cannot be traced. Sure. Oh, okay. Because Venmo Dark, that's sure. not a bad idea. Yeah. You know, I this is untraceable, untraceable money. Untraceable money. Or you could trade. It's not just like uh, money. You know what I mean? Like, uh, I'm not going into people once again. Of course, of but course. you know, you could be like, ah, my prize chicken, and I'll throw in four oats for uh, thanks for the cab. Oh, so you know a, a I mean? Venmo trade, a almost. Venmo trade. Almost. So yes, yeah. so I put up a pair of sunglasses. I'm looking to get you know two extra large t-shirts. Yeah. Hang on. All right, Anthony's just he's okay. got a phone call All and right. he's in left. In the middle of Anthony's corner. In, <laughs> in the middle of it. And Slobodan left, by the way. Uh, uh, that guy will come and go. You buzzed him up? Buzz him up. All right, nice. Man, sad to see him go. I was liking Slobodan. Nah, yeah, Slobodan, yeah. that guy's a horrific war criminal. Well, he and is. He's dead. We uh, so. we do another guy coming in, um, from what I understand. I think that's just a guy delivering you a sandwich. He <laughs> de- Physically, yes. <laughs> there is a delivery man coming in to bring mm. an egg sandwich. And then there is also somebody that I threw. Uh, you know I do a lot of charity work. Yeah, Tons. Of course. So of course. I, was, uh, I was doing, I, it was uh, last Sunday, I was uh, making the rounds. I was going from church to church to church. I was bringing them uh, of course. porcelain bowls like I do. Uh-huh. And I Which are filled in with? dire need. <laughs> filled with gold. Gold coins, of as course. they always are. <laughs> always. Um, and I and they they said uh, uh, the church on Roosevelt and Spring said you sure, got Roosevelt. Mm. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Do 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 do, th- do names that sound like street names. Don't they? <laughs> um, and I, I met this guy, and uh, I believe uh, what was uh, he's here right now. Mm. So he'll wow, introduce yeah. himself. But this is where that's where I met him. Mm-hmm. How's y'all doing today? I'm Billy Chestnut. <laughs> Hey, Billy. I am Billy Chestnut. Thank you for having me. Thank you so much for coming in. Now you met, wait, you met Anthony at one of your ch- ch- at a, one of his church. Uh huh. He's been raising money for me. He's been running. Oh, he's been raising a lot of money for me because Billy Chestnut has was was tried in another country, and I was thrown in gay prison for about thirteen years. Okay, so I finally found my way out. And Anthony, God bless your body, God bless your soul, God bless you everywhere. You have been doing so much for me. You've been doing so much for me to 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 get me out of the prison system in Costanovo, where them motherfuckers is on some shit. Okay. <laughs> They didn't. I was over there just collecting frogs. You know, I love frogs. I was out there. They done, everyone know they got all these frogs. And I was out there trying to get these frogs. And they said, we, who this man's? Who this man's? You got to get him out of here. And they put me in the gay prison. That ain't good. How did they good know? All. It's no, not good at all. No, that ain't good. You can't just be having me up in your jail if I'm not doing nothing. <laughs> fuck that shit. Y'all got y'all get, so cut stand up man, man. Fuck them motherfuckers. So, yeah. How did, are you originally 
from Costanovan? No, man. I'm from the East Bronx. <laughs> he was collecting frogs. Now, what? <laughs> what is your interest in frogs, by the way? I am, I am the most highest level of frog collector in the East Bronx. Okay, <laughs> I got frogs from anywhere, everywhere. Okay, I flew over there, and I said, because they got frog prom, and we know that they just be flopping around. And so I was like, oh. I a frog problem for you is a frog solution for me because I love frogs. Yes, that is true. So, you know. Oh, ab- absolutely. I hopped on a jet plane. Sorry. Go no, ahead. No, I don't no, want to no, cut no. you off, Anthony. No, no problem, man. How, well, how did you gain an interest in frogs growing up in the East Bronx? What? Because a lot of these motherfuckers I grew up with, they look like frogs. You know, these old motherfuckers out there sitting on a chair, ribbit, ribbit. I go, that motherfucker look like a frog, right? <laughs> And I say, that motherfucker look like a frog. I'm going to get a couple little of him. And I laugh at him. I go, oh, there's old Bonice, you know, in the frog, you know. Because I, I, you know, the frogs is really, they just they just shave little dogs, if you think about it. You know, they just shave little dogs. And a lot of these old motherfuckers sitting on their chairs, ribboning it around, you know, yeah. eating flies and shit. <laughs> so, yeah, I went out. I said, I'm going to go over to Can't Stand and catch all them rare ass motherfucking frogs. Oh, because that's a big frog hub huge. in the that, world. He's that's huge, shit. The huge. frogs gotcha. everywhere. They just ribboning around, jumping around, motherfucker. <laughs> Now, crazy. How, how old are you? How old are you when you first go out there? Well, it was 13 years ago. Okay. I ain't okay. gonna tell you my age. You dirty, you bad boy. <laughs> now what? Tell me you my age. <laughs> what? You crazy. I'm 12 years old. <laughs> to you. Billy Chestnut. Uh-huh. And so you're, in, they put you in Casanova, they put you in gay prison. They put me in gay Were prison. You, now, what was it like? Were you allowed to keep your frogs? What, what was life on the inside like? Well, I got to be honest. It wasn't so bad in gay prison because they don't know what gay is over there, it turns out. Uh-huh. That country is so restricted <laughs> that they just, they, they used to call me the Italian fancy man. <laughs> they were like, what's that Italian fancy man? We don't know what to do with him. We better put him up in the building. And they put me and they took my frogs. And then in my, my gate, my gay, my jailer, ooh, he wasn't so bad. He was pretty nice to me. We were friends. He'd be like, he would come over, he'd be like, oh, Billy. And I was like, what's up? And he was like, I fed your frogs today. And I was like, oh, thank you. And he would take care of the frogs, you he know? He took care of the frogs for you for 13 years? For 13 years. What a man. What a But hero. I think that some of them died and he just replaced them because them, them frogs, they all look alike. Hard to tell difference. They all Hard look, they all look like a guy sitting on a goddamn porch <laughs> screaming at children to get off the lawn. <laughs> <laughs> Them motherfucking frog man, ribbit, ribbit. And now, now, what, what exactly? Now you're back. I'm back. You're back, and you're doing wonderful. I'm back, Anthony. He got me out like George Clooney. Yeah, now that that's true. I he showed up on a plane, happened. and he said, "Let my people go." And it's just me. I was the only one in the yeah, jail, and they let me people. out. Now, what is he currently raising money for you, for? Anthony? Yeah, yeah. Oh, to get a bigger frog cage. Yeah, oh, I see. Yes, yes. I over have a thousand frogs. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my, a thousand frogs. I have a thousand frogs. Each a different species. Why? Well, I don't know. It's a frog. <laughs> I don't know, but I'll tell you this: it gets hard naming them after like after thirty. Oh, I then you just imagine. start naming shit around you. That's wall. That's paper. That's black. That's brown. And then you just start going, "Oh, I don't know. You Terry? Do I got a Terry? And the Terry don't say shit. Be a frog. You can't train a frog. Do you have a favorite frog? All of them. <laughs> you love them all the same. Equally, they like Voltron. They jump together. I go. Mm. <laughs> Now, I don't want to offend you. Woo wee! I don't want to make you angry. <laughs> you ain't going to make me angry. I've been in jail for 13 years. Okay, I hope. Well, it sounded like it was a pretty nice jail. It wasn't so bad. Now, but I don't. <laughs> there are people mm-hmm. down south. Uh huh. They eat frogs. Not around my watch. That's what I'm saying. What are your thoughts on these people eating frog legs? I don't got thoughts. I got nunchucks. <laughs> You come around me trying to gibbledy gobbledy on my friggity froggity, I'm gonna bust you up like a motherfucking ninja. You think you got something on me? Mm. So, so were there anybody like people trying to steal? It? I mean, because prison can be a harsh place. It can be. It can be. But it can be. It can certainly be. But uh, I understand it was a nice place. But would anyone try to? Because they know your affection for frogs. Yeah. So would anyone try to steal your frog? No. Marky Jailer was very nice. <laughs> He would take care of them. He'd go, mm, Billy, Billy, I gave a couple flies to old, you know, Will, uh, you know, Willy Wonka. He could really just say anything. And I go, that's a name. There's so many of them. I don't know. Anything you say is a name. I ran out of names. Right, right. So he would. What get- was your question? <laughs> I think you're kind of answering it. So you, he would, your jailer, mm. who was very nice. Very nice. <laughs> he was. 
He what? He sold me a pillow. <laughs> he sold you a pillow. So it did. Oh, he sold he you. He sold pi- me a he- pillow. <laughs> oh, wow. What um? What did it say on it? It said, "God bless you and God bless the frogs," <laughs> and I am in love with you as a friend only. Because oh. keep this a thing, right? He well, you were thrown in jail for being gay, right? That's the thing. They don't know what gay is. Right, they, Technically, they threw me in for being an Italian, Italian fancy <laughs> man. <laughs> <laughs> they said, get this Italian fancy man off the streets collecting frogs. What are we going to do with that? <laughs> the, really, what infuriates me <laughs> mm-hmm. is they had a frog problem. Yeah. They're over there. Mm-hmm. Doing them a service. Yeah, ain't nobody can catch a frog like me. Nobody. I got a six-foot vertical leap. <laughs> That's why I connect with them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Can you walk us through the frog catching process for you? All right, sure. Now, the only analogy I can give you sure. is imagine a frog. All my analogies is frogs because I love frogs. I got frog on the mind. You know what I mean? Sure. Think about you in a room full of flies. Okay. And a frog just boop, boop, boop. You know, grabbing them up. Yeah. That's how I catch them, but with my hands. Your hands are as if your hands are like a frog's tongue they to a They call me the octopus, but I said, mm-mm, I know octopus, I'm a frog. So going back to, you mentioned your six-foot vertical leap. Yeah. And then that you meet them in midair. Can you tell me about that? I could do a double bounce like in a game. Yeah. When I could jump in the air and then jump off of nothing. Okay. It's like hitting B twice. Yeah. I, I could do that. Yeah. I could do that. So the frog jump one way, I jump that way. I'm the other way. I'm grabbing them, right? But when the frogs, I connect with them. You know, they look at me and they go, mm, when I look at you, I feel safe. I say, okay, you come live with me in the Bronx. Now, what well, I have been told mm-hmm. in our pre-interview that you are currently uh, having, a, you're running an initiative where you go into the elementary schools and you educate these kids on frogs. Of course. Can you give us a little taste of what, so you're into a third grade class. Yeah, I walk in. And, and what are you saying to these kids? Hello, I'm Ben a Chestnut. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Billy Chester. I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about frogs. Yeah. And then I say, get in here. And then a thousand frogs come through the door. <laughs> and these kids go fucking crazy. Yeah. Because they don't know what to expect. They thought I was going to tell them about drugs. Yeah, right. Mm-hmm. right no. I'm talking about frogs. You're talking about frogs. Yeah, 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 they leap, they hop, they jump. They sit on a lily pad. They sing a song with a banjo. They don't give a fuck. Yeah. So, <laughs> so Billy, you're in the Bronx now. No, I'm in a podcast studio. Oh, you silly. All right. Yeah. You got me. You got me. You got me. You got me. I was just trying to get you, man. You so slick. You like one of them jailers. <laughs> you tricked me. You trick. They tricked me into jail. Now I, I. Gotta, you can't catch me. I was up in there. They were like, "We gonna put you in the in the building, Italian fancy man." And I said, "Catch me if you can." And I was jumping around, and they said, "Okay, but in this room, we got lots of blue frogs." And I went, "Oh!" And then they shut the door. They That's let me out for thirteen you. years. Uh-huh. Got you, so yep. going back to the relationship you had with the jailer, uh-huh. did it ever become romantic? No. <laughs> <laughs> that would be highly, you know, that is not, you know, that is unethical. Okay, are, are you guys still talking now? Of course, I talk to him every day. Over what, Skype? The phone. <laughs> you don't have a phone? You think he ain't got a phone because he poor? <laughs> He's got a good job, it sounds like. He ain't that, not now, not no more. His whole jail is empty. Yeah, oh, you were the only man in the yeah, jail? Yeah, it was just one room. With a frog, two rooms. Are you, can rooms. I ask you a oh, one question? One room off frog. Yeah, all right. And I do not want to accuse you of naivete. Oh, right? you can't accuse me of whatever you want if uh, the evidence presents itself. Are you 100% sure you were not just in this man's house? Hmm, hard to say. <laughs> but there was a government <laughs> proceedings. There was a government proceedings uh-huh. with a judge. Okay. Oh, okay. That's there was a judge. There was a defendant. There was a 12 men who was very confused of my life. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't get it. It was the whole thing was, you love men? And I went, of course I love men. And then they threw me in jail. Mm, mm. But the thing they never asked me is, is I, cause I'm not a gay man. I was in gay prison, but I'm not even a gay man. Oh, okay. I'm an Italian aunt. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, just for the yeah, record. Yeah, take your time. <laughs> Italian aunt, as in the bug, or Italian yeah, right. aunt, that's as in like... Uh, as in my brother had a kid, and he's my nephew. <laughs> okay, that's what I thought. Yeah. That's what I thought. I'm an old Italian woman from the Bronx. Okay, got you. Got you, you can't tell by my leopard pants. 
Well, I didn't want to. I didn't want. I mean, that you know also is uh, uh, you know in the uh, gay community, people wear leopard pants. That's but. the thing. The gay community and the Italian ant community <laughs> is very <laughs> similar. similar. A lot of crossover. <laughs> There's a lot of crossover. We both got long ass fingernails. <laughs> yeah, sure. Which is I, the ultimate. We dress like it's the eighties. <laughs> which is the ultimate irony because Italian ants famously yeah. n- do not like gay people. Mm, <laughs> I do. I call them. They my little frogs too. Y'all frogs to me. <laughs> Gay frogs. <laughs> well, fro- in the animal kingdom, it's often take what, take what comes. A frog can be a man or a woman. Did you know that? In captivity, it'll change. Right. Very just mad, like right. me. Oh. No. I do whatever I want in captivity. I just find myself. <laughs> <laughs> you know? So you're saying you're, you have the ability to switch up your genitals at any moment? What? <laughs> <laughs> I just made everything. What does I that mean? I switch up my style. <laughs> you know? Give us an 13 example years. of switching up your style. Well, you know, I got some leather pants. Uh-huh. My jailer will bring me some leather pants. I put those on. Okay. It's the fun wigs. We do fashion shows <laughs> for each other. You know? Put on different outfits. And he used to say, you look good. I say, you look good. <laughs> And he's like, I love you. I, said, I love you too. And we would hang out. <laughs> That's great, man. Yeah, he would drive a car sometimes. Okay. He would say, today we're extending jail to the passenger seat of my Fiero. <laughs> so, all right. We'll be driving around town. He would show me places. This is the deli. I get sandwiches there. They got one named after me. Okay. I think he's lying, though. Oh, yeah. You know what you got to do to get a sandwich named after you? <laughs> Motherfucker ain't do shit. Lazy. <laughs> he was lazy. No, yeah. Left the door open every day. I didn't leave out of respect. I respect <laughs> the law of the country. Now, how? Let me ask you this. Because mm-hmm. this is what I am so curious about. We're going on like 35 minutes. With how, this. how did. No, how did. Bring on another how guy did Anthony. <laughs> you're going to say, though. How did Anthony get you out? Oh, he done, he done wrote up a bunch of letters. How did uh, you do that? How did you start that, Tony? When I you actually, finished with your sandwich on the podcast? <laughs> When you finished, <laughs> when you finished, your time. take your time eating yeah, a sandwich. Chew that butt jacket on the podcast. <laughs> Get to the comedy. <laughs> I, wrote, I wrote, I wrote letters to. I knew we had a fan of the podcast. Mm. He was a very powerful person mm. who um had since died, mm. but had come back to life. And I knew that he gave us a tip off because mm. he is such a fan of the podcast. Mm. So he was able. To pull some strings to get you out of prison. Mm. Um, would you like to meet that man? <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, I will. I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right, Billy. Just kidding. I want. Please. Of course, I want to thank him. Yeah, of course, right? So meet the man who made this all possible. Uh, Slobodan Milosevic. Oh, meet back. Billy Chester. Uh, hey, Slobodan. Man. Hello, Billy. It is so wonderful to finally meet you in person because I love frogs. Oh, me too. I didn't know that was you. I thought that was all Tony, little Tony Rich, I used to call him. Oh, it was. He we could... called it the Tony Rich Project, getting me out of jail. Yes, he would write me letters and say, we we must get this man out of gay prison. I mm. said, ah, usually put people into gay prison. Mm. He said, no, this guy, Billy Chestnut, you don't know him. He will get change his style at any moment. I fucking change it up. And I said, let me go. I said, let me go meet him. Mm-hmm. Let me go. Now, you don't know this because they said you can't meet him. You can look at him through a one-way, two-way mirror. Mm. You know, you, so you just, you were styling. Styling. You were looking great. You Profiling. Were, you were changing <laughs> wigs. You were changing pants. You were petting your little frog. Uh-huh. And I looked through the mirror and I said, this man cannot be caged no mm. more than a frog can be caged. Well, he- a frog could be caged. I'm going to just say that. I got him in a big-ass cage. Yeah, that- <laughs> but the cage is earth, so you right again. I meant metaphor. <laughs> you was right the whole time. I meant metaphorically. Because I never sent a frog to space. I meant metaphorically. No, you were right. Yet. So what I said, what I said, I went to the government and mm-hmm. I said, there is one, I said, this man mm-hmm. is almost free. Mm-hmm. There is one last thing that I must know. Mm-hmm. And I must see it with my own war criminal dead eyes. Of course. Dead eyes. I said, what is his vertical? Six feet. That's what they said. I said, there is no Plus way. Plus a double B jump. I, did say, they, I said, there is no way. I have never seen a six foot v- v- vertical plus a double jump on top of that. Mm-hmm. They said, come to the jail tomorrow. Mm-hmm. We will show you. Mm-hmm. And I said, how are we going to get him to do the double jump without knowing that this is freedom d- depends on mm. it? That was that day. They put the frog 12 feet up. Remember that? They put the say, frog on the so shelf. This is so silly that they even made me do the jump because everyone knows you want me to do a big jump, I'll just do a big jump. <laughs> you know I'm a show off. I like to show what I got. But you couldn't know. That's the thing. I know, it, but you just say had, do a jump. It, <gasps> it, it had, I flew the air. It had to be pure. 
It had to be from your heart. Oh, that's a good point. So we put that frog up, that special, you remember that mm. uh, neon yellow frog? Yeah. They put it 14 feet up on a shelf. Oh. I was watching. What did, now tell Anthony what you did to get that frog. I did a double jump. <laughs> <laughs> now, hold on a second. Sure. I can't believe, I think someone's at the door. Well, <laughs> Someone is at the door. Is it? Is it my jailer? It's of course, j- I can't oh, believe it. I remember this we guy We reunited. Well. He actually gonna, this motherfucker going to actually walk through the door on an audio podcast. <laughs> Good for him. Good for him. My jailer is here. Take your time <laughs> finding yourself. <laughs> I'm going to talk to him. I'm going to take a minute. Of course. <laughs> this boy. Whatever you want to do. I'm going to take a minute. Okay. Billy, Billy, Billy. <laughs> It's good to see you. Oh, Dad, thank you for so much for all your love oh, and all the no pillows problem. you done sold for me. This is my friend. Who is your friend? Slobodan. Slobodan. Oh, we have met. He was uh, uh, helped me facilitate your release. The release? Yes. I, I well, didn't... both releases, if you know what I mean. We watched you come one day. I was going to We only <laughs> had email exchanges as I've never seen him in the flesh. Oh. This being the first time. Get him a touch. Yeah, him a touch. Feel him in real life. Not to my head. How no. to, how to than I thought temperature wise. Oh, yeah. I, 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 I spit to him at a, a, a 77 degrees Celsius. He didn't mind about 82. <laughs> of course. Billy, you looking good, Billy. I feel good. Oh, yeah? I feel good. What I you am feeling? good. Hmm? What should we be feeling? That is a very deep question. Okay. Do you mean like, do you mean like in general or currently? But both, why not? Currently, I feel mm, okay. Yeah. It's a little hot, but it ain't so bad. They got the ceiling fan on. Beautiful. Lights are bright. Okay. But how am I feeling emotionally? Oh, yeah. Spent. I gotta be honest, I am a little spent. It has been a long day. What's the day been like? Well, you know, flying around 13 hour flights. Mm -hmm. Grabbing frogs because <laughs> sure. I gotta put them all back in the you South Bronx. You ain't even wearing your West special Bronx. gloves to be grabbing them. I uh, know. You know you can't. You could mm, 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 stop it on. You know if you just grab some kind of frog, you might catch a salmonella. Of mm-hmm. course I know that some frogs even would get, make you psychedelically have a drug reaction. What? Uh, that's happened to you. I know. I've seen it. What? what? Yes, you lick a frog, you get high. That's oh. what's happening. Yeah, they, I, well, I, you know. I thought I was an oracle. <laughs> <laughs> Billy, yes, you is an oracle. <laughs> I've been licking frogs and telling people what's going to happen. Yeah, but some of it came true. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, so it's but a 50 50 situation. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I licked a frog the other day, mm-hmm. and this man came up to me, and he said, he said, Look, I know I'm just a twig with eyes, <laughs> but where am I ever going to find love? What you said? And I said, of course you're gonna find love. Why not? Yeah, twins gonna find love. And then he told me the secret code to life: up, down, right, turn around. (laughs) Up, down, right, turn around. That's a that's a wedding song. (laughs) That's a beautiful wedding song, Billy. Up, down, Down, turn around, up, down, turn around. around. Anyway, good stuff. <laughs> so, Billy, you looking like you've been growing a couple inches since I last seen you. You been taking special pills? Oh, of course I've been taking them pills. You've been taking them special yeah, pills? Yeah, you told me to get them. I got them. I mm-hmm. listen to everything you say. Oh, that's nice of you. Yeah. What kind of pills did you recommend? Echinacea. Oh, that's good. Uh, I love Ask Echinacea. Ask him about it. Ask him about it. Tell me, here's the thing. I'm dead. <laughs> yeah, well. What kind of yeah. pills would you recommend for me? Because I don't like it that much. Oh, well, you probably want to take a combination of echinacea and vitamin D and ginkgo globus. Mm-hmm. So, um, ginkgo globa. So you're saying echinacea, uh, vitamin D, and mm. ginkgo globus. Yeah, but then you also want to walk into a, if there's like a lightning strike, mm-hmm. and you could walk into it in the broad daylight with your mouth open, that's the issue that most people don't understand about mm-hmm. reincarnation mm. is you got to have your mouth open because it's got to come inside you. You got to come inside you. You know what I mean? I know exactly yeah, what you mean. Carry your umbrella without the felt on the end of it. Yeah, Just a big old metal Did, stick yeah, through a wanna... hallway that is like a field. This is part of Billy and I's. We had a business going for a while. Mm. It was a defelting umbrella service. Yeah. We would come over and defelt your umbrellas because it's mighty dangerous. To yeah. do it I am from a different country. <laughs> so obviously there will be some <laughs> cultural references I am not aware of. Sure, sure. Now, sure. now, sure, now sure. in the United States, is it customary for umbrellas to have have felt. To be covered on felt, the, absolutely. Yeah. I did not know that. Yeah, yeah I had a whole suede umbrella. <laughs> wow. Yeah, get fashion <laughs> only. Yes, <laughs> because that was suede, not good to get wet. Mm, no, no, it's, no not. it's not. But it's wet as hell and you look good. <laughs> and then I yeah. changed it. I changed
change it up. He just changed the I style. I change it up. Mm-hmm. I change it up. You know, I do a suede umbrella. I do a, I do a Velcro. I do Velcro gloves. Oh, why not? Yeah, man. Oh, absolutely. Velcro them right to your chest. You never lose them. And it look like someone holding your titties. It's sexual. Very sometimes, sexual. Sometimes we even do it in our strands of our hair. Mm-hmm. Oh, uh, what now? No, he ain't gonna I'm explain. Looking at you. I'm looking. At you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. I don't think he's gonna explain. <laughs> Damn, I'm, 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 I'm Billy. Don't, 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 uh, don't start the car without the engine going first. You right? <laughs> Almost <laughs> impossible. <laughs> yeah, exactly. exactly. Yeah, yeah. Now I'm looking at you, Mrs. Slobodon. Oh, what's that? You got some blonde hair. Oh you know? yes. Well, we're okay. Not, that's how. Well, because the thing was, they were after me. You know. So yeah, we are. So I say to myself, why not? You got to get the disguise. You know. Mm. So I get the disguise going. On to little too late. I was uh, already yes. in jail. Yes, it wasn't enough that you were I, dead. I was already in jail. Wait, then you, had dead. you was in gay jail too? No, no, I was in uh, a similar. It was a uh, jail for people that have killed over three million people. But oh. similar, oh. Same, oh. same thing. Kumse, kumsa. Yes, kumsa, that's, kumsa. What I, that's what I told them. <laughs> I said another one of billionaire's favorite songs. <laughs> kumse, kumsa. Kumse, kumsa. Do what you did and do what you saw. So Put anyways. that velcro on your titties. Take it round, round and round. Up, up, left, right, turn around, sl- slow but done wedding song. Over. It's like when you go to Star Spangled Bonnet, got an extra verse. You ain't know about. That's yeah. what it is. Yeah, I, I tell you my new kiss, you just reminded me of my new cooking recipe. Oh, Star Spangled Batter. It's to make cookies. Don't, let's not get into it. It's not that good. <laughs> oh, well, baby, you know. Well, it's I, not something oh, that we really I, need to talk if about. If you put a dish in the oven, you know I'll taste it. Mm. Mm-hmm. Now, let me ask you this hair thing you was talking about. <laughs> oh, sure, child. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what is this thing you was talking about with his hair? Oh, okay, yeah. So we was talking about putting uh, different cloths on side uh, of an umbrella, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, we be doing that in our strands of hair mm-hmm. to hide from the rain. You be, I, do you be, not, just, let me tell you this. <laughs> You, I, I'm at a light, and you kept going. I do not follow. Okay, well, let's hopefully this light turned green. Mm-hmm. Um, now you've been putting leather hair. Uh huh. You have velour hair. Hey, so you putting velour hair on your hair? hair? You wanna terry cloth hair? You wanna kind of like the demon? Mm hmm. The, the, the <laughs> do you know the demon I'm talking about? I most certainly do. Uh, Mr. <laughs> Mop. No, very close. <laughs> the de- no, I'm talking Striking about Ben Wyatt knows what I'm talking about. Oh yeah, who's the demon? About the demon? Finn, Finn Balor. Finn Balor. Yeah. Finn Balor of the he, WWE fan. Yeah, he does a cloth mm-hmm. hair. Mm-hmm. Uh, are you sure you're not talking about the mop? I can be. <laughs> we uh, Mr. Let's mop. Not rule out Mr. Mop. <laughs> Mr. Mop has sunglasses. That's how you know. <laughs> <laughs> so instead, you know, instead of uh, uh, cause people like to accessorize themselves with mm-hmm. clothing, mm-hmm. why not put the clothing on you? You is, well, you is the clothing. I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna be mm-hmm. on Billy Chestnut. Gonna be honest. Why this not? is called Billy Chestnut's honest segment. Oh, okay. Well, clothing always go on you, girl. <laughs> yeah, but why can't clothing be in you? You mean like replace your hair with felt? Kinda. I, do. I have a <laughs> kind of is not a definitive statement. <laughs> yeah, well, you know. <laughs> I, uh, actually, a friend of mine uh, just asked if he could stop by. <laughs> sure, sure, we welcome all. You could just come in. Hey, it's me, Mr. Ma. <laughs> Mr. Mop. Oh, oh, Mr. Ma. I got Terry Cloth. He, he can settle this for everyone now. <laughs> yeah, Mr. Mop, settle this. I, We're gonna do twenty questions with Mr. Mop. You <laughs> ask me any question. You want four questions? Well, I make it twenty. I don't care. Well, I, I got all to, day. Well, cut it down to two. You seem like you got a busy schedule, Mr. Mop. <laughs> I do, cause people flip me over and clean them floors. Okay. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, then flip me over and, and clean, clean them, them floors. floors. Hey, Hashtag Mr. Mop. Hashtag uh, Mr. Mop. Okay, Mr. Mop. Now, where can people find you? Oh, they can find me at a, a, a hardware store. Mm-hmm. They can find me. I hang out with Billy Chestnut all the time. That's why I don't understand why he didn't know. Oh, so this your new best friend. Terry Clark. Mm-hmm. You best friends with him now. Real quick, if you are a listener at home, go ahead and take a picture of yourself with Mr. Mop. And <laughs> hashtag Mr. Mop, hashtag Rad Dude Cast, hashtag Sexy Weekend. Yeah, do all that because <laughs> I they put I had this is what happened to me. Mm-hmm. Is I knew I had normal hair. Mm-hmm. And I went in to the, try and get laser fat removal surgery. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
And they said, and there was a mix up down there, and they didn't do nothing about my fat. They just put terry cloth in my head, changed my hair to terry cloth. Mm-hmm. Now I'm mop. Mm, Mr. Mop, but that's what's okay. Okay. You got to change it up. One day you was a man, one day you was a mop. Who cares? I did that. I was a mop for like six months overseas in jail with my jailer. You so good. You so looking so you good. So, <laughs> so good. You so good. Damn, you so is good. good. You I want to hang out with you again. You I want to take you to Dave and Buster's, get you a, a hundred coins, play whatever you get want. Me, you get me a hundred and one if you want to. Damn, I'll play, I'll play Daytona with you all night. Oh. Then we're going to go over to Friday's, get half-price appetizer. Oh, we'll, even the wings. Whatever you want. Okay. I got a government check coming to me because of the time spent in jail. <laughs> they let me out. And the frogs. Hmm? Dude, uh, don't you get that frog stipend? Brandon? Yeah, I came back. Don't they? Aren't they giving you a stipend on those frogs? Yeah, I get a check for the for the frog consortium. Yeah, and I also get a check for time spent in overseas jail without proper prosecution. Right, I, I both those checks, and then you get that Smithsonian check because you're the nation's number one frog expert. Yeah, the frog consortium. Yep, yeah, they consult you on any frog <laughs> issues. Yeah, because they had that whole thing with the frog. So that- you know what that translates to? What appetizers on me? Yeah, that's uh, I, I like a I like a appetizer. You know what I mean? Give me an appetizer. What's that? That's a fun way that sometimes they write appetizer on the menu. Mm. But it's the same thing. But you feel a little more excited about it. I get a chocolate lava cake and I say, "Go ahead, girl. You deserve it. <laughs> you work hard. You know, you spent 13 years in jail. No. I get deserve every time I go. You having another sandwich on the podcast?" <laughs> On the talking show. That is you're doing a thing that lets you not talk. Same sandwich. That is literally like someone in a marathon stopping to tie the shoes. <laughs> you is running right now. Well, I mean, I, I don't know. It must be pretty I, good then. Huh? I don't think that's a very, <laughs> I don't think that's a great analogy because if your shoes come untied during a marathon, you got to tie them. Nah, I must say you just keep running no socks. That's not going to help your shoe situation. <laughs> it's not going to help nothing. But I'm trying to... You understand what I'm trying to say? I understand. Oh, absolutely. Okay. I like to take a stab at my it. old friend Anthony every now and again because I love him. He's a fun guy. He's my friend for life. Also, Jailer. He here. He cool. Oh, also, I, Slow I Madon, left. He here. Mr. Mop here. We got I'm full room. Here. Yeah, I'm here. Mr. Mop. You and... Uh, hey. Oh, you checking text? Hey. <laughs> Anthony, you checking checks to eat the sandwich? Anthony. I would say one out of four parts of you is doing the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't that something? <laughs> That's okay. I don't care. Billy Chestnut carried the whole thing. <laughs> this is the Billy Chestnut show. <laughs> I what just did I do? To- what did I doing do? Great. I, uh, doing this great. This is me and Becky. No. <laughs> Lightning round. You don't say shit. <laughs> lightning round. Okay. Lightning, lightning round. round. Billy, Chestnut. Billy Chestnut. Anthony, lightning round. Times right. you've seen lightning. Go. I seen one with my mom. I was scared, and she said, well, don't be scared. Watch it. We'll watch it. And we watched it. Okay, Anthony. Times you've seen lightning. Go. I was on a plane uh, maybe like a month ago, and I saw lightning in the distance. It was terrifying. That's yeah. been lightning round. <laughs> Can I throw it in an additional one? Sure, Billy. Yeah, and we, and we I see lightning all the time when I'm out there with my special type umbrella trying to catch a lightning. <laughs> we just discussed it. I kind of forgot the ins and outs. I'm fine. Weren't we just talking about it? We yes. were. We were. Well, explain you, it. Yeah, I know. I can to explain bring it. a guy back to life. I That's can explain right. it exactly. I, I recall it exactly. What you do is you take the felt. I need a bell. Why do you need a bell? So that a waiter would come. <laughs> I check on this. I think Billy definitely needs a bell. <laughs> <laughs> That's un- I did cut you un- off. West Trimble needs a bell. I need a but bell anyway. so that I can ring it, and then I demand something. Uh, uh, well, uh, here's the, what happened. Don't Becky's giving him a bell. I find this to be uh, Ooh, a whistle. A big mistake. It's a dog whistle. <laughs> <laughs> this works perfect for me. This should have happened a long time ago. Hang on. <laughs> Glass of water, please. <laughs> no tip. <laughs> I do that. I whistle and I'll tell you what a tip you're going to get. <laughs> should have had water. <laughs> Soup time. <laughs> I wish you was here for chocolate break. That was fun. <laughs> oh, Brandon, you did miss... I don't want you to feel bad. I know you was on the road having a good time making a living for opening for the Greg Warren. I was headlining in Maine. This I'm was not, just not an a strike. This was a on strike you. on me, Chestnut. No, no. Fuck you, Chestnut. You know who my favorite Chestnut is? Joey, the hot dog champion. Why? This is his brother. Why, Jailer? 
Why does he hurt me? I, I was in jail why. for 13 I years. Don't know why I, do I was in jail you, for 13 it. years, and this hand ain't gonna hurt yeah. me like this. Mm-hmm. Joey Chestnut. That's the only chestnut I fucking that's acknowledge. That's the name we don't and speak about. Water chestnuts at Chinese food restaurant. That's a delicious. I thing. couldn't just look away. I did 13 years overseas. You ain't gonna hurt me. Go ahead, Billy. I'll just change Stare it up. Stare at one of your oil paintings. Mm, yeah, I gotta find myself. You're gonna look me in the eye and tell me you don't like water chestnuts. Um, I'm, I'm, uh, Billy, go to that place. Mm. Breathe the I sunset. Wanna, I want to fly. Renaissance painting. Far, far, far away. Far, far Marble away. Marble Collins. <laughs> say your prayers, Billy. Say your prayers. Yeah, my dad, he touched me. Did I ever tell you that? <laughs> okay, this is wrong. I'm this, okay with it. You may not have enough time to unpack this, Billy. I know where that came from. your best friend and jailer friend. Uh, <laughs> I was never able to touch. I was, okay. never, I was never able to get to it. Oh boy. But now I feel ready. Okay. After I got hurt yeah, yeah. from Brendan, I'm you finally to acknowledge truth. my pain. No, you speak no. Truth. Speak I follow mm-hmm. that thought process mm-hmm. right through. Mm-hmm. It had nothing to do with me hurting you. It had me doing the prayer from Forrest Gump. Mm-hmm. You then said the prayer from Forrest Gump. You then thought and about your brought, dad touching you. And it brought up some memories. Oh, Billy. Well, okay. Yeah, I dealt with it. But I'm back. Are you back? Billy Chestnut back. Okay. Anyway. I don't know. Everybody got up. Got weird. No, I, well, how come I he be- gets to stand up? I don't get to stand up. I you can do what up. you want, but when you do it in the four minutes left in the podcast, <laughs> Billy Chestnut gets scared. He's going to get struck again because <laughs> in the jail, people will come around you and they would go, Billy, we're going to take your frogs. And I will fight people. I always <laughs> win. I'm a good fighter. You know what I mean? Well, hold we'll on. Mm-hmm. They will come in. Hold They'll- on. Mm-hmm. Something's not uh, adding up. Mm-hmm. You said you were the only man in that jail. I was. So who was coming around to I'm fight you? I'm not a man. You? I'm an Italian you're, aunt. You're an Italian aunt. <laughs> now, who was coming around to fight you? A lot of these people, they would sneak in when jail is day off. Oh, the human place. They pay money. They come in. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I was in the human place. My, <laughs> yeah. my, I was the only man, woman, Italian, yeah. Italian aunt. But I was next to a bear cage. <laughs> and, and then they were in love. Uh, cu- they were in love. You remember them? You used to take care of them. You used to feed them steaks. They were so whatever nice. They, whatever they want. Whatever they, they would want. sit next to them. We, we would share, you know, we would share iron rods. Mm-hmm. And I would lean against the bed. Mm-hmm. And sometimes he would look over and go, Wow. And I'd like, say, I know, me too. <laughs> me too. And he was saying, you know, I know what he was saying. He was like, I'm gonna change it up for my girl. I said, change it up. <laughs> change it up for her, you know? Part your hair, do a little different. You gotta keep her intimate. You know, because cheaters out there, they fucking mm-hmm. doing whatever they doing. Mm-hmm. Bears, they get tired. Mm-hmm. Anyway, what? You standing too? Yeah. It's funny when Becky's standing, you don't even know because she's so short. <laughs> Becky's not short. How facts? T- how tall are you, Becky? <laughs> you doing facts now? <laughs> how tall are you, Becky? Five one. Five one. That's five like one, two that's inches tall. taller than Anthony. <laughs> <laughs> Anthony, you're a very nice man. <laughs> but Anthony got a great far away shot. <laughs> that guy hit a three in his pink pants. He used to wear pink pants on the basketball court. They used to, uh, my favorite part. Uh, when you I, did. When I watched the NBA is when the announcer goes, that was a hell of a far away shot. Mm-hmm. That guy just strained. <laughs> yeah. From the far away, Dwayne Wayne. <laughs> Dwayne Wayne from a different world. That's the basketball I used to watch. It was sitcoms. They would do these backyard matches. Yeah. Well, Dwayne Wayne, he put his glasses up and he'd go, what? <laughs> remember Dwayne Wayne? Yeah, I remember yeah, Dwayne Wayne. Yeah, that was an offshoot of the Cosby show, Rest His Soul. That man was not up to anything good. <laughs> Thank God we found out. No, his albums still sell pretty good. Whose? Cosby's. Really? Yeah, I've been checking the charts because I got an album on the Cosby chart. Cosby is myself. still on the charts? Uh, big time. People. His last album was like 82. I uh, mean, that people are loving. You know who's big on the t- charts? Who? Cosby and Greg Giraldo. <laughs> God bless Greg Giraldo. Yeah, mm. yeah, great drill. Yeah, those guys rule the charts. Cosby, people are buying up Cosby left mm. and right. Ah, right, y'all want to do plugs? <laughs> yeah, I don't know yeah, Billy, I want to know where you were. Mm-hmm. Uh, Brendanair dot com. Follow me for new dates. Mm-hmm. Uh, and g- 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 I don't know if this is will be, what episode this will be, but this comes not, out in twenty twenty three. If it's not a Patreon <laughs> episode, check out Patreon dot com backslash Red Dude Cast five dollars. A month or more gets mm-hmm. you four bonus episodes. You're going to want more Billy Chestnut. Check out Remember To Be Happy Studios, all the other podcasts on there. Remember To Be Happy.com backslash shop for all your rad dude cast merch uh, needs. That's two, the numerical uh, number two. Don't spell it out, you fucking asshole. Mm-hmm. 
You, Billy, you, where are you going to be at? I'm going to be at the Willowbrook Mall before it opens, doing my laps. Because I, I had a full, I had a, I had, they said 75% blockage in my heart. Uh, wow. So I had to, I got to change that up. So mm-hmm. I'm going to be doing my laps at the mall before it opens. Mm-hmm. It's nice. You know, it rains and that don't matter to me because it's closed. It's yeah, I like to check out the different stores before they open. Mm, I said, oh, maybe I hope that's on sale. Mm, I'll check when they come in. I don't know. But that's girl, that, that girl's 16. She got attitude. She said, hey, shoes ain't for you. You can't be rocking around and Sneakers with wheels on them. And I'm like, mm, you don't know. I'm Billy Chestnut. I do what I want. I just realized I got a boy's name. <laughs> well, I just realized that now. I'm like 53 no, years what? old. No, Billy. Good Billy about? Holiday. Billy Holiday. Yeah. Billy Holiday was a man who could play guitar. No, woman. <laughs> what? Yeah. Uh, uh, who died with La Bamba? What? That was uh, 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 Richie, <laughs> Richie, Richie Valens. Yeah, who died with him on that plane? Buddy Holly. Buddy Holly. That's who I was thinking of. <laughs> and, and the Big Bopper. The Big Bopper. And the Big Bopper. That was the day the music died. Oh, that was not a good day. <laughs> Don McLean later sang about it. Yeah, you ever see a hot topic in the morning? It's off-putting. <laughs> no one wants to. <laughs> it is. It don't, look, it don't look right. You want to be there at nighttime. What's it, what, you ever, what's it like walking by a Spencer's oh, gift at 9 a.m.? Not good. The guy got a breakfast burrito and a dildo. It ain't right. <laughs> it ain't right. That's why I swear you want to see me, you go to the Willowbrook Mall, 6 a.m. to 9, about 9.45. That's what I'm wrapping up. Uh, and you know I'll do my lap So you kind of Got to find me But if you leave Something out Maybe I'll stop And pick it up A frog Leave mm-hmm. a frog out That's to get him mm-hmm. I'm also in the forest Looking for frogs Where are you going to be at Tony Baloney <laughs> I'll be at Mohegan Sun Comics Mohegan Sun August 1st through the 3rd This could, could come today. out after No one knows Whatever Time is not relevant <laughs> Yeah, man. Anyway, Greg's going to be in Yonkers. <laughs> good, good. So call, go, go find that. He's going to be in Yonkers. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. He's all over the place. Oh, yeah. God bless. God bless. This episode of the Rad Dude Cast was recorded at Remember to Be Happy Studios. Production by Becky Rodriguez at Human Places, the Easy 3, with video editing by Tanner Williams, Low Kinky 69.